So no, this is not clickbait. I have been eating 6,000 calories for the past six months and I want to take you through why I did that, what happens to your body internally when you do that kind of calories per day, especially for that long of a time, uh, what happened to my training and then what happened to my physique. So let's start with the reason why I decided to eat these amounts of calories for this extended period of time. And the reason was because I went back back into Europe for a month and a half. Uh, I went to the trip weighing 103 kilograms and I came back weighing 96 kilograms. I was pretty lean, but of course I had lost a little bit of muscle and my physique was pretty depleted. I felt really, really weak. And for my height, I'm 193, so like 6'4", I think it's that. Uh, that's really really low weight, especially for a powerlifter. So uh, I decided to start a bulk. I start at first it was not that hard to, to eat like around 500, 5,000 to 6,000 calories. But with time that started to get uh, more challenging and more challenging. Uh, my body was, I think, kind of confused to be honest. Uh, we have to be simple two hormones in the body. One hormone says you're full, you're you're having enough food for now, you're going to be heavier, so it signals stop eating, that's leptin. We have another hormone that's called ghrelin, that, that hormone is what gives us hunger. So when you've been hours without eating, or you've been sleeping and you wake up and you're hungry, or you've been dieting for a while, that hormone ghrelin starts to go up, go up, go up, until you feed your body. And even uh, if you feed your body but you're still underweight, you're still going to be feeling hunger due to the hormone. What happens? The other way around where you're not dieting, you're bulking hard and your body is gaining weight at a, not at a rapid rate, but for me, I started doing weight lifting when I was weighing 75 kilograms with, like, at the same height as now. So it was a pretty drastic increase in body weight for me for the past five years since I started lifting. So due to this fact, I was force feeding myself for the past three to four months. It was really hard, it's expensive, it's disgusting, it's, it's actually hard to have a normal life, you know, because you may want to go out with friends or maybe you want to go out with someone to a date or something like that and you don't want to feel like you're stuffed with food and you may feel like you want to go to the bathroom or you feel like you want to puke because eating that amount of food for that extended period of time is not enjoyable, it's not like you eat it for one day or two days, like Christmas or a holiday it's exhausting, it's draining in the body and it's unhealthy, it's really unhealthy so now I'm getting more into training. My training was more so based on powerlifting, but a lot of accessory work because that's my philosophy and my system with training. I do a lot of accessory work because I think it's really productive to increase muscle mass, and I think no, it's, it is proven by science, of course. Uh, so I, I did sort of like a power building sort of training. Uh, I increased my muscle mass quite a bit, I have to say. Uh, I didn't get that fat, to be honest. Uh, I am right now currently weighing 104, 104 and a half and a half kilograms, uh, so I'm not a fat, I'm, I'm okay, uh, but my strength has increased a lot, I PR my squat, I PR my bench, I PR my deadlift, so I'm pretty happy about that, uh, and I still have a mock me to go in a couple of weeks, so I'm hoping to, to be a little bit better for, for them. In terms of how my, my body looks, I think I look much better now because I, I want to get bigger and stronger, uh, of course I gain a little bit of fat, but it's not that much, and to be honest I think a lot of people are too afraid of getting into a serious bulk. Of course, not everyone has the goal that I have. A lot of people have the goal of looking better in the summer or with their clothes off or whatever. That's not really my goal, my goal or, or at least not my main goal. But I think a lot of people are too afraid to a serious bulk because they will go to lose their abs or what, whatnot. But the truth is, if you really want to put on serious amounts of muscle mass, especially as a natural lifter, you have to do some sort of a prolonged bulk, and I'm not saying an aggressive bulk, I don't say that you probably are never going to get to eating the amount of calories I'm eating because I am I'm pretty large, uh, in terms of height especially, but like doing a sustained lean bulk for about 9 to 10 months is going to be hugely beneficial and you're going to really increase your strength and muscle mass. So to not ramble so much about this, I think this was really hard, really challenging, it's not healthy for the body, not at all. It's not cutting, it's not healthy for the body, like doing a serious cut if you're already lean. But doing an extreme bulk when you're forcing yourself two, three, four times a day, uh, six, seven days a week, it's, it's not healthy either. So, of course, we don't do this for health. Uh, if you do this for health, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. Um, 
but basically I think it was a, a right choice. I, I somewhat conclude my goals, so I'm happy about that. I PR my, my lifts and I'm, I'm filling out my weight class, so I don't regret this at all, uh, and I would do it again, but yeah, uh, you just learn stuff about how to distribute your food and your calories throughout the day to be, a, be able to eat a little bit more. So, that's basically the video. I hope it was helpful for someone who is trying to walk or, or trying to decide what to do or has a really, really high metabolism like I'm having that issue right now. Uh, and yeah, that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys for the next video.